Preeti. Today I'm gonna teach you how to actually take the input from the console so that you can insert the elements into an array. Still now we have actually inserted values into an array by using static values also by using the size keyword but now I'll show you how to input the values from the console to an array. So to do that we, f we must first use scanner. Now why do we use scanner? We use a scanner to take the input from the console. So let's declare that first. So you, I'm done with the uh, taking scanner. Now I'll ask the user to specify the length. That is how many elements that you actually want to insert into an array. So let's ask enter enter the length of the array now let me store this result into an integer variable that is reference variable array yes now after this let us ask the user to insert the elements according to the length e has uh, specified so enter the elements of array now let me store since what is entering is of an array type that is what is entering is uh, is we are supposed to store them into an array that is the reason let's take the type as an array and is equals to new int array length now after this we are supposed to traverse so what will happen when we traverse the values which are being present in the reference variable of an array will get printed onto the console yes and i'm storing this into yes and finally I'm printing this that is array save and run so we can see the console is actually asking the length of the array that is if you want to insert three elements you must give the uh, uh, if you want to insert three elements you must give the length as two because the index position starts from zero whereas the length is from one that is the reason i'll give two so enter the elements of an array c i'm entering one i'm entering two yes so this is how it will be printed and this is how it actually takes input from the array if you give array of i say i yeah that is the reason you actually take an input from the uh, console and you print it so i hope everybody has understood how to actually take the input from the console and for more operations on it thank you for watching this video